Okay, you see me? Like I said, this is DC, P218, check out all our duels, whatever. This is the uh, DC out from the rectifier. When the motor's running, when it's not, you get zero, because you get no AC feed in. Now what I wanna do, I wanna crank this motor up, and I'm gonna check our AC, and we're gonna check it at high and low RPM to see what we got. So we'll be right back again, hang on a second. Okay, we started, we wanna let this warm up a little bit, because it's cold thing. Warmed up, we'll just right back in. We'll get this on hold. Okay, now we got this warmed up. Now it's kind of rubbing the low idle. I'm going to put this AC on this uh, stator as it comes up. Make sure we got 12 volts. First, we're going to check it at idle, then we're going to rev it up and check it on a full speed. start this up and we're going to check this DC before we're done with this electrical part. Okay, so to recap on this electrical, comes from the firewall of the dash, from the key to the coil, down to the relay, comes back from the relay to the negative side. Now your stator, as it spins, sends, as we found, these two wires, 25 or so volts AC at an idle, and over 50 volts at full run which gives us how many DC volts? 30.1 volts. 13, that's what I said, 13.1 volts. What was it, full volt? 24? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so about 13 volts at an idle, which is more than I thought because these uh, uh, cooler engines and stuff that I have only put out like six volts at an idle. But that's good, and that way we get a little charge. But you know, right at 12 volts, it may not charge enough and idle to keep your all your lights and stuff on. Okay, so we got 50 volts in and 24 volts out, DC. That 24 out goes out the, uh, to the battery. And this one, like we said here, is the oil sending unit. Okay, that's all we got for this. Condenser hooks to the positive neg negative side. That's it. All right, we'll be back with something else. Here in this next uh, short clip of the P218 testing, it's to be 220, same thing. Uh, we're gonna do a compression test. We got the motor warmed up, and uh, let's see what this is on. It's a right side sonar is where we're starting. 
supposed to have 75 to 115 psi. It's what it calls for. Let's see if it'll start. Put the battery up. Fourteen or so. Excellent. Okay, uh, let's stop there and we'll open the other side and check it. Okay, we figured out why it wouldn't start. We had both the plug wires off, so we were idiots. But everybody learns from being an idiot. Um, we're gonna test this left side now. I'm gonna crank it over. Maybe it'll start. Maybe it won't. Cool. All right. We had a compression leak there where we wasn't getting it in the hole. Okay. So we got good compression on both sides. That's that's great. Got a little bit of smoke, so it's probably the valves. Okay. Here's our exit from the testing videos on the June 5th of 2023. P220 we've been working on. The one sitting here on the bench is the P218 that's out of the 318. Uh, somebody asked about the flywheel. They're exactly the same, this one, and the one on the P220, 95 teeth. Okay. Um, these are the same on the two units. And the starter ignition, or not starter ignition, but uh, ignition is the same on this one as it is that one. Coils, coils come to a different shape now, but they're the same on both engines. These books, uh, this is the books you need, the references, you don't need them, they come in really handy, the parts guide, now it says, I got this one a long time ago, it says service manual, I thought, what dog, I get to find out how they put these all together, they don't, it's got a lot of information about the servicing and testing, the actual testing of it, and this is, has the layout of all the schematics. Uh, parts and, and how things go together. We've got a lot of photos in it. So we've got parts, we've got the basic service manual, and we've got the technical service manual. 1590 is the technical. ONSP216 plus is the service. And then we have the 1924 parts manual. That's, that's super handy. Okay. Now on the next one, I want to probably go over a little bit more of this about how it mounts and everything. I want to go over the starter, different aspects of that. And what did we say that was, Ronnie? Nine teeth, the nine teeth starter. Oven. And the part number is a 191, 1949-04, 12-0 Onan. That's the right one. If you don't get the right one, you're gonna have problems. You're gonna have to shim it. You're gonna to do something weird to it. I don't like to shim them. It don't fit it ain't the right starter that's it okay so we can go through all this motor later different things if I get any more questions I can hatch on them that's all about all I got right now uh, as far as the neutral return uh, I've got some parts painted I want to put that back together before we start on uh, the explanation of that because it's not gonna make any sense from the bench and that's it have a great day peace <laughs>